So in medical research, we would ask the individual patient to give consent on an experimental treatment or medicine. That doesn't quite translate with mosquitoes being released into an environment. This type of research goes beyond the individual as it affects the entire community. If genetically modified mosquitoes are released, they affect a particular area, not necessarily the individuals within these communities. So we need something other than the medical model and developing a community agreement model is a step in that direction. It is also important because this model informs the communities and they are aware of the research, including the pros and cons. Another aspect of importance is that this kind of research benefits from local knowledge. So we want the community involved from the early stages of planning the research, doing the research, and even analyzing the results. There are several organizations that have weighed in and offered guidance on how to pursue community agreement to engage with communities. One of those is the World Health Organization, or WHO. Another is the U.S. National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine. And both of these organizations are consistent in suggesting that we need to do engagement with communities. However, the existing documents do not provide specific guidance about what is acceptable and legitimate for community agreement. The community agreement model needs to find this balance between acknowledging the expertise that scientists bring to the table, political power structures that are on the ground in a particular community, and also a commitment to justice and to transparency and to fairness and responsibility, which needs to involve the entire community. It is very important because the model reflects the collective interests of the community. Efforts should be made to ensure that communities, stakeholders, and the general public are appropriately engaged and the host communities where the releases are going to be done should be given an opportunity to provide legitimate authorization. By setting up a community agreement model before the decision is made, then expectations can be set ahead of time. How is this going to work? What can we as a community expect to hear from the experts and how are we going to interact with them? And how is the decision going to be made? So setting those expectations ahead of time gives the community a confidence about the process before the decision is made. It is important to develop a community agreement model for potential future releases of genetically modified mosquitoes as it will help researchers in designing more culturally appropriate studies and study tools within the communities where they intend to carry out this type of research. It's an opportunity for Target Malaria to learn how best to organize productive and respectful dialogue with communities. This is novel work. These technologies haven't been seen before and there haven't been these kinds of specific efforts to involve communities beyond what is required by federal regulation, for example. Most importantly, it helps build trust between the research team and the research participants.